they don't do nothing. But they have their glory. Yeah, but they have their glory, but the most high, and even they even they themselves recognize themselves as no gods, but they do their part. But at the most high, because every star, believe it or not, every single thing in existence, even its own, even a blade of grass has its glory. The most high created that certain thing. But if, if that has their own glory, the most high, or Yahushua even said, are you not worth more than far, uh, like two, or like, how many far are these? The, uh, the, 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 flood, the grass of the field. Yeah. So if that's, that, I'm just trying to get, how much more a man, a man that the most high actually is, is coming back, like we were talking about in Revelations, don't hurt the earth or the vegetation until you seal up these men. He's got them on lock, man. He's got them, he's, he's okay, They're, he's guiding them, he's dealing with them. So he knows, and he knows who's not of his sheep. John 10 and five, and a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of stranger. Right, and, they, and, and the stranger they will not follow because they know it's, they know we, we, that he's really a, 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 a killer, a thief, a, a thief, liar. A liar, yeah, exactly. Like I was saying, like you can hang around with a certain person, you know that that old person in the world that you, you, you were once friends with, and you bring somebody new that you don't know, and straight off the rear, you can tell that there's something funny about the dude, and you don't want to have no business with him. And what happens later on down the road, he ends up doing exactly what you you, you got, you, you felt that vibe off him, with, with, with betrayal, deception. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get Revelations 14 and one. And I looked and lo, a lamb stood to, stood on the Mount Zion, and with him 400, 140 and 4,000, having his father's name written in their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven as a voice of many waters and as a great voice of thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps and a song as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and, and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the 140 and 4,000 which were redeemed from the earth Right, and real quick, that's that song. That's what I was gonna say. That that's that not, no man could learn it, but but them. That song was only that masterpiece was only given to, to them to play, and it was given to nobody else. And, and you know, it's just, it's just, this multitude only was playing that, that that song. It doesn't tell you what song it was. It was a mystery still. The mystery that we know that we now know. Yeah, it's revealed. It's, yeah, it's revealed. And it's only given to the 144,000 men, 12,000 from each tribe of, of, the, of Israel. These are they which, these are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto God and to the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of God. Hey, wait, real quick, hey, here's something, man. If, if the Lord tells me America's wicked and gonna be destroyed, I believe him. You know? If he tells me that, I believe him. If he tells me to get out of this place because he's gonna destroy everything in his path that is not supposed to be meant to be saved, I believe him. I don't believe him, I don't believe Esau because the Most High told me what Esau is really about. That he delights in being wicked. He delights in what is that? Uh, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. He, he made these devices to entrap you up in this world to try to draw your mind back into it. I was about to say, duh. You know, just. just <laughs> there's so much stuff, man. That you, it's so frustrating to, because y'all people are so stupid, man. The most I was telling you. But, yeah. This is Joel 2 and 1. Blow you the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness. As the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong, there had not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. A fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is at the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness, yea, and nothing shall escape them. Hey, because what's coming, what we know what's coming for these men is, a, is a, uh, an incorruptible, immortal uh, kingdom of righteousness.
business. And behind us gonna be America. It's good to say when we drive, uh, when, we, when we fly by it, we're gonna be hissing at it, talking shit about it, making jokes about it. Like this is what we got delivered out. It looks it looks brown today. Yeah, look at it. We're gonna be looking at. Look, look at this place. Yep. Look at this, this America. We thought it was supposed to be forever. But well, also too, we're gonna be happy that we're out of there. That we can finally make a joke. We like we're out of it finally, man. Finally out of this this maddening hell, man. Cause we're not out of it yet. The, the, the what is it? Uh, the second coming has not happened. I cannot believe you people would say that, man. Your, 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 your prized possession, man, is, is made out of 75% cotton. 25% leather. A, a, a cloth you can buy at a store. You can buy a whole lot of it at a store for like $10, man. A lot. A lot. You have to, you have to break your back for $7. Yeah. <laughs> An hour. <laughs> <laughs> how, how much is that? Uh, like, you know, there's 60 minutes in an hour. Yeah. So like, it's like a dollar. It's like a dollar. Yeah. Each, each minute. Or 10 minutes. Each 10 minutes, you get a dollar. Yeah. Man, that's that. And people always see that. Like, can you not believe that? That's a dollar. A, a dollar every 10 minutes. Hundred pennies. <laughs> and, busting your, and busting your ass. Yeah. I mean, look at it like that. Seven dollars. You're busting your ass, slavery. And that's the curse that it was given to Adam. He said that that you're gonna uh, by the sweat of thy brow, you should eat of thy bread. I mean, you're gonna have to fucking labor your ass off just to eat. And that's not the way it was supposed to be. But because of our uh, our backslide and our rebelliousness, that's 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 what we receive. That's the consequence. And that I was told yesterday, man. Brother, I was speaking to again. Another thing, he was, he was he was rebuking me. He's like, look, you're like you're a motherfucking slave in America, man. Okay, you're not gonna win, and it's gonna remain that way, man. You get paid. You add that up, man. That, that is nothing. You're, at, you're they have uh, what is it? That that pyramid of uh, of class social classes. They got the lower class. They got the middle, middle class, class and they higher class. And their wages are set for those reasons. The wages are, they have a set boundary for lower class. You won't ever get paid than what you, uh, even if you worked there for 50 years, you're not gonna be making $75 an hour unless you go up higher in, the, in uh, society to their doctors, like masters and bachelors, bachelors. So you're screwed, man, you're a slave. We're all slaves. At the very beginning of scripture we brought out, man, we're still slave in slavery. And it's also there to for the elect to, so they can get out of this place spiritually. Because, like I said, uh, like you gotta experience that, that hardship to really see what's really happening. If you don't go through it, you're not gonna be you're not gonna ever come to the acknowledgement like, man, it is hell. If you're, if you're living a fine and daisy life, you're not gonna want to gonna see it. Yeah. When you catch that hell, you put it through that trial, that fiery trial. You're gonna start seeing because that hate for this place is gonna grow in you, man. You're gonna hate your life, you're gonna hate yourself, you're gonna hate being here. But at the same time, you're gonna be like, but I gotta live, I gotta survive. But everybody, but us, we, we're, the, we're the lucky ones because we were seeking our higher power for delivery. We were seeking, oh, I need to go to college, I need to move out of San Angelo, I need to slang drugs. It was none of that. It was, it was, we have to look to our Heavenly Father for, for uh, to be redeemed and saved. Because knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy time, the strength of thy salvation. And that's what that's the truth, man. Even in America, they tell you knowledge is power. But they don't they tell you the knowledge of the wisdom of this world is. But according to the scriptures, the wisdom of the world is foolishness to the most high. And it can only get you so far in society on earth. It can't get you high up in society with in good graces with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is looking at this dumb man. You're still a retard. You're still a retard in the Heavenly Father's eyes. Because what the least of us brothers that are in the truth that know compared to you is great. The least of what we know is great with the everything you owe dear outweighs what you ever you will ever have in your whole entire puny life. And that's the truth. 
because it says wisdom cannot be compared to rubies and diamonds and pearls, man. That it's so valuable that not it's not nothing you can grab. Although we can handle it, like y'all idiots, I don't know what the spirit is. You can handle it, touch it, flip it, look at it, word, words that are spelled with letters, but you can't you can't grab it and say this is mine. Because that, that 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 wisdom, that that precious item, that that treasure has to be broken down to you, put in perspective, precept upon precept, line upon line, here or there, little, here a little, there a little, in order for you to even to write, hopefully retain that knowledge, and believe and have faith in it. Yeah, I'm going to say, you got something else on it? Uh, that was it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. Okay, to, uh, Joel 2 and 4. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, and as horsemen, so shall they run. Like the noise of chariots on the tops of mountains shall they leap, like the noise of a flame of fire that devoured the stubble, as a strong people set in battle array. Before their face, the people shall be much pain. All faces shall gather blackness. They shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war, and they shall march every one of his, of his, on his ways, and they shall not break their ranks. Neither shall one thrust another. They shall walk every one in his path, and when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. They shall run to and fro in the city. They shall run upon the wall. They shall climb up upon the houses. They shall enter in at the windows like a thief. The earth shall quake before them. The heavens shall tremble. The sun and the moon shall be dark, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army, for his camp is very great, for he is strong and executed his word. For that, for the day of the Lord is great and very terrible, and who can abide it? Right. And that's going to the missiles. But you know what? We're going to say twofold now, too, for the elect, because the elect is going to shine, too. They're going to arise. They're, they are going to be going, they're going to be doing things righteously. They're going to be going through people's win windows to get stuff that they need. They're going to be getting, they're going to be getting food. They're just saying they're going to be full. They're going to be full and they're going to rejoice and laugh while you're all busy crying. That also, that, uh, that they're going to be going, uh, what is that? Isaiah 60 says to the elect, arise and shine. All right? Because we're about to, man. The elect is about to be woken up. Or not woken up, but. You know, like the brother said earlier, revealed, revealed. Man, revealed, and it's about to be that time, man, where we're gonna get our powers, and and, and it's all game, man. Nothing's gonna stop us. It's, if you attack us, re, you better rethink what you're thinking, man. It's gonna be too late. <laughs> I got this. Wisdom of Solomon, three and one. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and there shall no torment touch them. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, and their departure is taken for misery and they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. For God proved them and found them worthy for himself. As gold, is, as gold in the furnace hath he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. And in the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. So there you go, see, uh, among the stubble. So we're gonna get y'all, man. Oh, yeah. The elect's gonna be there. We're gonna take part and privilege of destroying this whole infrastructure of America, man. Knocking down Taco Bells and pawn shops. We're gonna destroy those, those Edomites in Israel, too. Yep. We're gonna, the elect are gonna have, they're <laughs> gonna have their way with the synagogue of Satan, man. You Khazars, you, you uh, Ash you Ashkenaz, Ashkenazi Jews. Because you are you bastards. Amalekites. Yep. Oh, what is that? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, David Rockefeller and uh, what is Rothschild. Rothschild. Y'all gonna be found out, man. We're gonna the fight Bilderberg you. The Bilderberg Committee. Yep. All y'all, man. Y'all are gonna be found out, and, and again. Y'all are already found out. They're already found out. Yeah. But it's just a, a matter of time where the Most High's gonna have his ways with the great, the great kings of the earth. There's nothing, and I remember it was uh, Revelation 27. Behold, he come up with 10,000 of the saints. Okay. Yeah. Yep. 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 But yeah, man, that's what's coming. And like the brother said earlier today, Melissa, that the Lord's not going to slap. 
And he's not going to miss. He's not going to forget, overthink, underthink any part of what's coming. It said that the most high in Jeremiah 35 or 45, believe, he says that this is the day of the Lord's vengeance to execute, vengeance, to execute uh, judgment upon all of his enemies. That strove against him. Uh, this is Malachi 4 and 3. And you shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in that day that I shall do this, saith the Lord of hosts. Right. This is going to be a, 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 a lion to a mouse, man. Or a, a mole rat. It's not going to be hard, man. We're going we're gonna to win. And like the brother said, too, he's just going to allow uh, you wicked people to actually think that you can have a chance. Like you can maybe escape. But that's why I'm just going to say, hey, most, you're going to meet a bear, or you're going to see a lion, you're going to meet a bear than a snake. And then if you try to hide on the ground, we're going to pull you out by the spirit and bring you above ground. The most I said, he said, oh, that's why Austin too said, I can't remember which one it is, but the most I said, what he says against the whole world, he goes, what will you do? What can you, what do you imagine for that day? Because there's nothing you can't do. There's nothing you can't say to the most high to, to uh, stop him from killing you. Because you already you already did too much, like the brother said, it's too late. You already did too much, man. This is Revelations 2 and 25. But that which ye have already hold fast till I but that which ye had have already hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I even as I received of my father. Yeah, yeah. even as we, even as the Amish tribe received of that. We're poor heirs, so we're going to receive the elect, the elect only. We're going to have power over the nations, power to destroy them. It's not, man, it's not even, it's not, like, like you said earlier, we're not going to even tell you, man, because we've already told you too many times, man. You're just going to die. It's, there's no, there's no, there's no, you don't have a chance, man. You're fighting against that, but we always keep saying that infinite power. And, and, I, and like the brother said earlier, Esau is going to do everything he can to fight, but he's going to lose, like nothing. Uh, 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 Yahweh Shai is going to be like, I'm playing with you, I'm playing with you, all right, I'm tired, I'm going to destroy you now. Because like we read in uh, Ezra, this is the this is your most highest world. This is your highest highest world, man. He made it. And like and like it says in Revelation, he wants he wants to dwell down here too with his people. He wants to visit with them. But then Esau took over, and look, you don't even have real. There's actually places uh, people tell you you can't even dig in the ground no more. You can plant shit, man. And if it grows, it's gonna die eventually because it's gonna get choked up. supposed to be dark, dark, like almost black. You dig today, man, it's white. It's dead. You, 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 you know, people have killed the earth. Uh, this is Romans uh, 8 and for 8, 19. For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who had subjected the same in hope. Because the creature itself also shall be deliver, delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation grown is a travail and pain together until now. Right, because we're waiting. We're waiting for that, uh, that promise that was given to us. That's what, that's what it said too. For all the brothers out there, hold fast what you got. Because it's, it's, it's only speeding up. Like we, we ended up speaking about last week, man. It just feels like, you know, things are happening more back to back now than it, than it used to. Things are just happening. It, 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 it may give it a little overwhelming, man, but man, we, we gotta, gotta just fight a little bit more, man. Like, we, uh, what was that one you read? Uh, for being chastised a little bit, Wisdom of Solomon? Yeah, just, and the most high cause is a small chastisement, man. Paul called it that, called it that too, man. So it's a small chastisement, so we gotta continue to strengthen each other. We gotta continue to fight. Because this place, America, man, like the brother was saying and harping on today, this place is being destroyed. And I was gonna say this too, like, because I was told this yesterday too, like, do you really wanna fall, man, in a, in a place that's already fallen? 
in a place that's already pretty much destroyed, it's just 